suffer. <laughs> so as some of you might have noticed, War Thunder is not doing too great right now. I'm sure most of you already know what's going on, but I had been asked by quite a few people to weigh in on the situation, so here we are. It's also been a while since I've had a good Gaijin rant, so I figured why not. But I'll also be talking a bit about my experiences as a Gaijin partner, and what I think the biggest issue with War Thunder currently is. Basically, this can all be traced back to an earlier attempt at an economy change, where the player base also rioted, and just like the most recent one, Gaijin did back off. But they came back with a poll. But it wasn't a normal poll, it was one of those ones where both choices really suck and you have to try and find the lesser of two evils. You know, like US elections. But basically, the winning option was to move to a more rank-based economy. And with this change, some vehicles became easier to play. You know, the repair costs weren't as bad, the multipliers were a bit better, but largely it was pretty negative, especially at higher tiers. It wasn't fully introduced right away, and the latest round of changes were a continuation of that. And boy, let me tell you, they were not good. You could find a few examples here or there where it was an improvement, but by and large it was a very negative change. Many vehicles not only had their repair costs increase, but their SL multipliers also went down. So it was a classic Gaijin double whammy nerf. It seemed to affect tanks and naval the most, again especially at higher tiers. Gaijin also spoke over moving folders, starting with low tier vehicles, because they said players didn't make full lineups. They said players just ignored the foldered vehicles and moved on to something else. Now, I'm sure Gaijin already knows this, but people don't use foldered vehicles that often because they're another pit for SL to fall into. If I am trying to grind my way to top tier for a new nation, I'm not going to waste time researching and buying a new vehicle, spading it, crewing it, just so I can have a more full lineup. Especially when that vehicle is pretty much identical to another vehicle that I can just buy a backup for. Again, it's just a pit to throw your time and money into. It's a pit you can avoid, but that's why Gaijin wants to get rid of folders. If they aren't foldered, that makes the grind even worse, incentivizing you to spend more money. And generally, that's the motivation behind all of these changes. Gaijin wants to make the grind basically unbearable so you're incentivized to spend money. I mean, they pretty much fully admitted to it. The community was not at all happy with this, so the change was reverted, and Gaijin did respond, but the response was incredibly tone-deaf and very condescending. Basically blaming players for all of it, they tried to say that most people agreed and that they'd be helpful changes, but yeah, I think that's a bit of gaslighting there, Gaijin. They did leave a link to a form where you can leave feedback, but if I had to guess, all of these responses will be shredded, basically. Whatever the virtual equivalent of shredding is, I guess deleting. We'll get into that later, but Gaijin rarely, if ever, actually listens to feedback. Anyway, the player base was still very unhappy with this, so they started review bombing the Steam page, and Gaijin released yet another statement. They again opted for the gaslighting approach, saying that actually this is for the benefit of the player. You can't give a player everything at once, because it will overwhelm and make the game very difficult for them, and they will just leave it either immediately or almost immediately. Progression provides opportunities for gradual learning and engaging the players. Without it, the game will lose players right from the start. That is just complete nonsense. Gaijin, you provide a way for the player to get everything at once. You sell top tier premiums. You cannot say that making the grind worse is for the player's benefit when you give them a shortcut that costs $50. But you don't really care about that, do you? Because you know if a new player buys into the game right away, they feel incentivized to stick around, they don't want to waste their money. Even if they are having a bad time, they'll still try to play it to make the purchase worth it in their eyes. And even if they do quit right away, what do you care? You got their money. If anything, making the grind worse will drive off players even more. Not only will it drive off existing players, but a new player can install it, see it'll take months to get to a tier 4 vehicle and just leave. They also went on to talk about the review bombing. Of course a review on Steam is a platform for expression, but please don't do it because it might lose us money. The majority of new players just look at the score evaluation and do not read the text reviews. Review bombing does damage to the game in that new players simply won't try it. Gaijin, you know this isn't true. This doesn't just apply to War Thunder, that would apply to every game on Steam. You don't see other devs on Steam complaining about the review system. New players can see that most of the negative reviews are very recent, so there was probably some event that made that happen. And I don't know about you guys, but when I see a game has bad reviews, I actually go and look at what's wrong with the game. I don't just move on to the next thing. You don't get to dictate how people criticize your game. I mean, yeah, I think review bombing is stupid if it's a movie that no one's actually seen, just because there's some political message they don't like, but that's not the case here. These are War Thunder players. Some random guy that's never played War Thunder before isn't going to go, oh, some dev is making a bad decision, better go review bomb it. It just doesn't happen. If people are being doxxed or threatened, then yeah, it's an issue and shouldn't happen. But as far as I know, it's not here. 
and Gaijin has the gall to ask for feedback in the forums and other things. They don't care. They don't listen. I'm very privileged in that I'm a content partner, so I get a pretty much direct line to Gaijin. And even then, it's like talking to a brick wall. I think generally the partner program is good, it's run by good people. But of all the feedback submitted to the CC Discord, I can count on two hands the stuff that actually made it through. And you know what? I would bet money that Gaijin will try to sneak these changes in again. It has happened so many times before. Gaijin will back off for a few months, and then they'll come back and add a change very slowly in pieces. It's funny, in the response they say that players basically want everything their way, but that is exactly what Gaijin does. I mean, yeah, you can say it's their game, but you have to recognize that sometimes you make mistakes. I think it's very funny that Gaijin doesn't overtly say that this change was a mistake. They just say that people don't like it. They really cannot read a room. Gaijin wouldn't need to make changes like this if they hadn't ruined existing monetization options. And they've done that by trying to squeeze them for money. The Battle Pass is a great example. I am someone that is averse to Battle Pass just as a word, but the first few ones were actually really good. They weren't hard to complete, they offered good rewards, but Gaijin saw they could make more money so they ruined it. What's the reward now? Oh, it's the Centurion Mark 1, but it has a stabilizer. Ooh. It seems like Gaijin is getting extremely desperate for money at this point. It seems like most of the premiums they add anymore aren't unique and there are more of them. It's like I've said before, Gaijin only listens to feedback if it already supports their opinion, or if it can provide them with money. You guys know I make bug reports all the time, right? Especially for stuff like the HSTVL. The vast, vast majority of them are ignored, but Gaijin did listen to reports for one vehicle. It just happened to be an event vehicle they could make money off of. So if they buffed it, they'd get more money. The TCM AGS is now much more powerful than it used to be, and I would say it was pretty overpowered for a while, and after they got their money's worth, they moved it up in BR, as they typically do. But yeah, the idea that they would make the grind even worse so they could get more money is just obscene. Even before these changes, it was bad. I have premium and often use premium vehicles, but my SL stayed pretty much constant. And I am not a bad player, you guys know. I can get aces or double aces pretty frequently, but even that isn't enough to overcome the economy. I sometimes grind vehicles when I don't need to, just to sort of stay in tune with the community. And often the grind is so bad that I end up asking Gaijin for the vehicles anyway. But normal players can't do that. Their only option is to buy the vehicle. I thought we all generally agreed that if a game was free to play, that meant you could play it normally without paying, but if you wanted extra content or you wanted to skip something, you could just pay. Apparently that's not how Gaijin wants things to be. If you went back 3 or 4 years and asked someone if War Thunder was pay to win, they'd probably say that premium isn't necessary, it just speeds things up. Nowadays, that's not really true, is it? I have been very dissatisfied with Gaijin recently for a number of reasons, and this is just the icing on the cake, really. They have become so blatantly blinded by profit that it's just ridiculous. And yeah, you can say this is their job, it's to make money, but I really think people underestimate just how much having goodwill with a customer can bring in money. I've worked enough food service to know the customer isn't always right, but I also know you can't burn bridges with them. War Thunder's biggest problem is that Gaijin always thinks they know best, and that they keep trying to find new ways to squeeze money out of the player base. Anyway, I feel like a broken record at this point, so I'll just end the video here. Let me know what you guys think. I might be acting too harsh, I don't know, I'm just very tired. If you have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.